Hi, my name is Crystal Melanson and this is the Find the Right Diet for You mini series. So I am the owner of Zen Functional Wellness where I help you identify the underlying causes of your health issues. So this video series was created to show you a little bit about how I start to work with clients so that they can identify that diet that's going to really help them feel good and energized and have that fit healthy body. So I'm gonna break it down for you in three different videos and you can start to implement these changes as they come so that you can really make lasting sticking habits. So the first step to finding the right diet for your body is something that everyone can implement and it is just having a strong foundation of healthy eating. So this is my foundations of healthy eating and it gives you just a basis where you can start so it's really focused on that nutrient dense food that's gonna give your body really what it needs. So if you start here, this is gonna be over halfway there where you need to go. So just working off of these foundations and really build that groundwork where you can then start to personalize it a little bit more. So keeping in mind that you wanna be eating as close to the most natural state as possible. And I know some of you might need to prioritize how you purchase your food. So if you cannot purchase everything organic, then you can work off of the Environmental Working Group's Dirty Dozen. And this Dirty Dozen is a list of the 12 top produce items that seem to contain the most pesticides and herbicides that you definitely want to buy organic. So you can go off of this list, they update it once in a while, and you can make sure that you are at least purchasing these items organically. They also have a clean 15 that shows you the top 15 foods that are most likely to be clean, um, even if they are conventionally grown. GMOs, pesticides, herbicides, they all can really cause inflammation in your body, affect your immune system, and they even affect that oh so important gut bacteria. So we know how important that gut bacteria balance is. So another item that you really need to make sure you're getting quality of is animal proteins um, and products. So meats and if you decide to do dairy, dairy products, eggs, these really need to be purchased organic, pasture-raised, grass-fed, sustainable. So the best for the environment and the best for your body that you can do. As animals, we tend to store a lot of toxins and those chemicals in our fat cells. And we don't wanna be eating that toxic waste from another animal, especially if they've been conventionally raised and they're being injected with things like antibiotics or hormones or any other scary um, steroids or chemicals. So we really want to be eating friendly, healthy animal products. And if you purchase from local farmers that you know raise their animals ethically and treat them well, you know, this not only supports the environment, but also supports your local community. And you can look up some of these farmers that um, have been checked through on eatwild.org and hopefully find some good sources near you. So if you need to build a better foundation, this is where you start. This is what you can start today. Start eating as close to natural as possible. Follow these kind of foundational guidelines to get nutrient dense quality food in your body. So stay tuned for video number two and we are gonna go a little bit deeper into how you can start to personalize this diet a little bit more um, and find that unique way of eating that's gonna fit your unique body. If you need guidance, help, coaching on any of this, make sure you stay tuned um, through this series where I'm gonna share with you how you can get your hands on some free resources from me, as well as learn how we could work one-on-one -on -one this fall. So if you have any comments or any questions, you can comment below. Um, you can also contact me through zenfunctionalwellness.com. And please like and share this video if you found it beneficial or if you know someone else who would enjoy it. And stay tuned for video number two.